Pro and Restore, Condi Restore Conditioner. <laughs> and I'm making a sample, a sample, making a sample for somebody. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my September favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites. And then I've got some makeup-y things that I have not mentioned in Friday favorites. I've got some skincare, some hair care, some randoms. I just have a lot sitting in front of me, so we better get to it. So let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, I'm gonna have to say the Wet n Wild Fall Collection trios. I've really been enjoying those. And then this thing right here, I'm obsessed with. This is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo, and this is in number five, Lottie. That's what I've got on my eyes today. I do have um, a couple of these, actually all three of these on my eyes as well. Not this one, just this one. So I do have these, but mainly this one on my lid. And I just think it's amazing and glittery and gorgeous. And if you love glitter, I would definitely recommend this. These in general, I think they're all beautiful, but this is the one that I can't put down. For blush, my overall favorites are these two. This is the Fiona Style Soft Cheek Veil in Maiden Lane, just a beautiful pink shade. I swatch all these overall Friday favorites in Friday favorites. If you want more info on these products, check there. And then my Merle Norman Lasting Cheek Color in Wild Ginger. So this one's kind of like a neutrally brownish, peachy sort of color. And then this one is kind of like a bright pink and I have both of them on today. And I really like them individually and they're beautiful together too. For lips, I'm picking my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Color. This is in Friendship, but really just this formula in general would be an overall favorite because it's amazing. It's literally like one of the best liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. Love, love, love this formula. And then also I really have been enjoying the Rimmel Kate 15 year anniversary lipsticks. Specifically, number 55, My Nude, and 56, Boho Nude. I have on um, 55, My Nude right now. And I just think they're gorgeous, comfortable cream lipsticks, and the packaging is adorable. A few makeup favorites that I have not mentioned in Friday favorites. First off, I've gone back to using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've mentioned this before, like when I first got it and first started using it. I love this thing. And I never really like stopped using it, but I wasn't like I was using it every day when I first got it. And then I wasn't using it every day. It was kind of like periodically. And then I've pretty much gone back to using it almost every single day. And it's just gorgeous. I mean, it is like the perfect bronzer color, at least for my skin tone. It's just like a medium. You're not even probably, well, you can see it. It just doesn't look impressive in a swatch, but I feel like on the cheeks, it has just enough warmth to it, but just enough coolness to it to like be perfect for contouring and bronzing up the skin. I just really like the texture of it too. It just blends effortlessly into the skin. It's so, so pretty. I have been wearing my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation so much recently. And it's kind of funny because I had this and it was really close to the bottom and I was like, you know what, I need to use that up because when I first got this and when it first came out, I loved it. Used it all the time. It was one of my favorite foundations and I used it for a while and then like for some reason it wasn't really working well for me anymore. So I kind of put it away for a long time thinking, well, maybe this foundation doesn't work for me anymore. Well, I took it out to kind of like finish up the tube ended up falling back in love with it. Now I love it again. It's a really nice, I would say satin to matte, mostly pretty much matte sort of a um, look on the skin. Did I already say this? I wear it in 110. I wear it in 110. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's what I wear it in. And it just looks really nice on the skin. Like it has a nice finish to it. It has good coverage. It wears really well throughout the day. Do I have a hair across my cheek? Yes, I do. See that line? That's not a line, that's a hair. So <laughs> I'm all over the place today, but it just looks gorgeous on the skin and it lasts really well throughout the day. It's a long wearing foundation. So I'm not really sure what happens there. I guess, I feel like my skin type is like different day to day. So maybe on my more like combo oily days, this works better for me. So I'll have to see kind of how it does in more of like the winter time when I'm more 
normal to combo kind of situation. But for right now, I've been loving this. And with that, I've been using my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation and I wear it in fair. Now I usually use something else to set my under eyes and sometimes like my nose and right in here, but pretty much everywhere else I've been using this and this is such a pretty powder. It's a foundation technically, like a powder foundation, but it is so pretty for setting foundation, but you can also wear it by itself um, I think it just kind of depends on if you like powder foundations and how much coverage you like. Um, I don't know why I'm putting this on my hand because it matches my skin, so you're not going to be able to see it. But I love the finish to this because it looks very skin-like. Like it just, it has those color correcting properties to it, so it really does even out the skin tone. And it doesn't look super dry or anything like that. It just looks very skin like so I, there's so many days where I'm like I'm gonna do minimal makeup and like I plan on just doing concealer and powder and then I sit down and I end up playing with my makeup and I'm completely full glam without even meaning to it's just because I like playing with my makeup so I want to try this like just as a foundation but I haven't done that yet at least that I can remember so I use it more as a setting powder, but I love it that way, but I could see it being really great um, as an actual foundation too. For skincare this month, I did a little bit of bouncing around towards the end of the month, but at the beginning of the month, I was really consistent with using these products. These are all the um, Murad, like, well, they, it's all the orange line, which I think would be the C line. So for like, evening out the skin tone, brightening dark spots, that kind of deal. So these two products I've loved for a long time and I've mentioned these before. This is the Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So it has 2% hydroquinone. Um, it's the 2% hydroquinone skin lightener. So I've loved this for a long time. And also this is the Essential C Night Moisture. It's really nice and hydrating. Feels really like comfortable on the skin, but really like just creamy and I really like the texture of this moisturizer. It feels really nice. And then these two products are semi-new to me and I really do like these also. This looks like I haven't even opened the thing because it still has a seal on it, but I'm a weirdo and if it has a seal on one side, I just use the other side. So anybody else do that? I'm like, I don't wanna mess up the cute little seal when I can just open it from this end. So that's what I've been doing. Anyway, so this is the Advanced Active Radiance Serum. So this is like your, you know, deep acting serum sort of a treatment. I really like this. And then this is the Rapid um, Resurfacing Peel where they're in little like packets. So they're supposed to be like a resurfacing kind of a pad. So I've used these about, I don't know, maybe like four or five times or so. But using all these together, I just noticed that the look of my skin seemed smoother. Like, meaning um, almost, I know this isn't supposed to be for texture, it's, it's supposed to be more for like spots and discoloration on your skin, but maybe like fixing that just makes it look smoother. Cause that's what I felt like with my skin, that it just looked smoother. So, I was using those consistently and I felt like I was seeing a difference in my skin. And then I started experimenting with other things and then I, I just actually started using this again last night again. So anyway, I love Murad. I'm not sponsored by them. They just send me things to try out and with no obligation to talk about them, I just like their stuff. So that's what I've been liking this month. For body care this month, I already mentioned this last month, but I'm still loving it. The Bath and Body Works Golden Pear and Brown Sugar this just smells incredible. Like it just is so yummy smelling. It is Bartlett pear, brown sugar, almond cream, vanilla praline, and toasted hazelnut. That just sounds incredible. Sounds incredible and it smells incredible. So if you have not sniffed this scent, go sniff it because it's really good. For hair care this month, I've actually been using these for a couple of months now and I do feel like I can see a difference in my hair. These are the Jamaican, well they're by um, Shea Moisture, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo with peppermint and apple cider vinegar, which oh, I hate apple cider vinegar. Like the smell of it is just like, yuck. And then this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore, Condi Restore Conditioner. <laughs> 
Restore Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. So it says natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. It says nourish, repair, and grow. Sulfate free and color safe. So I've been trying to grow out my hair for forever. I have really fine hair and I heat style it really regularly, like pretty much every single day. Like I try to curl it really well the first day and use heat protectants and then use dry shampoo for a couple of days so I don't have to heat style it as much. So I try my best, but my hair is just too flat when I don't heat style it. So I know I keep damaging it. But anyway, I want my hair to grow. So I've been using these and I do feel like my hair is actually growing a little bit because I what I've read is that black castor oil and even peppermint too is supposed to kind of like stimulate the follicle and also kind of like clean it up, like get any gunk out of it so that it can grow. So if there's like buildup or something, it stimulate, it clears that out and then stimulates the follicle so that your hair will actually grow. So that's what I've been using. I got them at Walgreens. They weren't, I think they were around 12 or $13. And yeah, I've also been trying to be better about my vitamins too. So yeah, but I'm about to get a haircut and I'm sure that I will have to get some jacked up ends cut off again. <laughs> Lastly, a couple of food favorites, and these are all because of my friend Melissa, Melissa Parada. She does Try It Tuesdays with her mom, Mama Bee, and they've been trying out a lot of different fall things lately, which is, those are such funny videos to watch. They are so cute together, so I will link her channel down below. Definitely go check them out. They're adorable, but they've been trying like a lot of different fall things, and you know, like pumpkin spice, s'mores, caramel apple, that type of deal. So these are two of my favorite things that I've tried that they've talked about. And I found both of these at Target. So this first one is the Hand and Max Baking Crunchy Cookie Chips. And they're limited edition. And this is the Harvest Pumpkin with Roasted Pepitas. And these are so good. They're like little tiny crunchy cookies. Okay, and I had to cut the dang bag open. It's supposed to be resealable, but sometimes the resealable things, I seal them and then I can't get back into them. Are y'all like that? Like I just cannot open the little zipper part. Like I don't know, but it's even like the little sample bags that Sephora when I'm making a sample, a shamper, making a shamper for somebody, making a sample for somebody. <laughs> I can't get into those bags either, but this, this one's like 10 times harder, so. I opened it and then I'm just using my little cat clip to hold it shut. That was a tangent, back to the cookies. So they are little thin cookie chip kind of things and I really like them because they're not like overly sweet and I like that. Like they taste just more like pumpkin or like, I don't know, pumpkin bread or something. They're really yummy and not super duper crazy sweet. And then I also love these. These are the Boom Chicka Pop S'mores flavored kettle corn. I love Boom Chicka Pop in general. They're all really, really yummy. But this one is like coated with chocolate and just really good. And I'm actually not a huge chocolate fan, but this is really, really good. And I would say, yeah, it kind of does taste like s'mores, but it just to me, mostly just tastes like it's sweet and yummy and like kettle, like kettle corn. Ketter corn. I feel like I said ketter corn. I can't talk today. All right, guys, so that wraps up my September favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving in September. Either makeup favorites, skincare, hair care, body care, food, random, fashion, just whatever. What were you loving in September? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.